We're doing a demonstration. We're doing a demonstration on a dual head welding lathe for a customer of ours. Um, we have the part set up so that the tailstock uh, reads that a part is in place. If the part were removed, um, the tailstock would pass that point and give us a no-go signal. Right now we currently have both arcs set to weld and we will initiate the weld by hitting the start sequence button on the right hand side of the control panel. We are doing a very quick overview of the Miller weld control on this lathe. This is a 70 series wire feeder. Uh, down below we have a wire jog and a purge. Um, up top we can set and store different programs. And the program would have various settings based on what we enter in this weld sequence and our uh, stored voltage and wire feed speed. If we quickly go through the sequence <laughs> button, the start button starts to flash, telling us that we can set a start time for an upslope. Currently we have no time set, so there is not a start position. This will immediately go to our weld voltage and weld travel speed. If we hit the sequence button again, we move to the crater settings. We have a very brief crater time here of two tenths of a second and a wire feed speed dialed back to uh, 50 inches a minute. We can change each of these values by selecting one of the arrows here and the corresponding number will change on the screen. Right now we are at voltage, so we can change our voltage up or down as necessary, or change our time or duration. Uh, here we have the ability to change our wire feed speed. Once we exit, we can move to the pre-flow and post-flow settings. Right now we have no pre-flow selected. If we hit the button again, we are then out of that menu and only our crater button is lit, letting us know that that is the only parameter stored in the machine.